Recently, I asked each member of our TGS Men's Breakfast group to write or record a message to be shared with their friends, telling them of the most important things they would like them to study and learn once they're gone. A bit like a last will and testament. Now, my time has come to go to Pakistan, and so I'm going to give my answer now. I would like people to know that I came to believe in God and was converted from crime to Christ as told in my life story. I would like them to know that God exists and has communicated with mankind and a record of this is in the Bible. That God can be known in and through the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. Also, that I experienced what the Bible talks about as salvation and that is from sin, death and hell. That my sins have been forgiven and that I have the gift of imputed righteousness. I would like them to know that the Bible contains a record of the creation of the world, along with the purposes of God and for our existence. I would wish them to know that once they come to a knowledge of who Jesus is and believe in him as the Son of God, that they should go on to learn the Christian teaching concerning his death and resurrection. I would then like them to go on and learn why the Bible is classified as the Word of God, recall the story of the fall of Adam and Eve in the garden in terms of its effects upon the human race and recall the promise, the first promise, of deliverance of a Saviour from the fall. State the reason for God destroying the old world by the flood and saving Noah and his family. Recall the story of God's call of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and Israel going down into Egypt. Recount the story of their bondage and deliverance from Egypt by Moses. Tell the story of the giving of the law of Moses and its function. And then state what the apostles had to say about the law of Moses and its fulfilment. And after that, I would like them to find out and state how we came by our Old and New Testament scriptures, when the Old and New Testament scriptures were written, how we came by our Bible in the English language, how we can be certain that our copies of the Bible are accurate and can be relied upon, and why the Protestant Reformation took place and its significance. And then, what are the essential differences between the Church of Rome and a Protestant Christian church? And then summarise, in their own words, the message of the Gospel.